In a previous tutorial, we showed you how to hide a media panel at the start of a scene so it is invisible uh, to the user when the experience begins. In this tutorial, I will show you how to display this media panel when the user will enter in a specific area. And in this case, for my example, I will take this particular area. So to start, I have to place the element that will allow me to detect the user uh, in the area where I want to activate the appearance of the media panel. So to do so, I have to go in my collections. In the experience category, uh, you will find what is called a trigger zone. A trigger zone will allow you to detect the presence of a user in a precise location. So I will import and place this trigger zone in my space and using the grab option on my control panel, I will replace the object correctly where I want my player to be detected by the trigger zone. I will have to resize uh, my trigger zone because uh, it is currently too small uh, to detect a player. So to do so, I will need to uh, use the transform option and I can simply enlarge the area and thus ensure that it is the right size to detect a player. I can also use uh, the axis transform option, which is also on the control panel, to uh, place more precisely my uh, trigger zone in my environment, using the arrow to move it sideways. Now that my trigger zone is placed in my environment, I will be able to prepare my animation. I will go back to my script canvas and I will be able to add again a reference node to my media panel, but also I need to add a reference node to my trigger zone. So let's start with the trigger zone. If you want a trigger zone to be able to recognize the player's position, you must set the target asset to false. To do so, you need to point your node, click on your joystick or on your touchpad, and in the node remix menu, in the last line, click on false. Thus, your target asset is false which will mean that it will now detect players and not objects. Now that my trigger zone is set to be able to detect players, I will have to go and find the node that will allow me to display my media panel. In the behaviors category, the show hide node will allow me to perform this animation. What I am going to do is uh, I'm going to reconnect my object, uh, so my media panel, uh, to the asset line of the node. And then the event that will trigger the appearance of this media panel uh, is no longer the beginning of my experience. But it's going to be uh, when my player collides with the trigger zone. So I am going to connect the on collision terminal of the node to the flow in terminal. Now, by default, the show hide node is set to hide objects. So I have to enter its remix panel, again by pointing it and clicking with my joystick or my touchpad. And at the end uh, of the display line, I have to click on true. Now, let's review the scenario together. At the start of my experience, uh, my show hide node will hide my video screen. But when the player enters the trigger zone, this will send the information to the show hide node to show the video screen. Thanks to my watch, I can access the roulette menu and come and save my progress. I will close my canvas and enter the preview mode. 
I am at the start of my experiment and uh, as expected my screen is hidden. Now let's see if it will appear when I show up in the trigger zone. My trigger zone was placed in the middle of the crosswalk. If I teleport to this location then my screen appears. So now you know how to make a 3D object appear when a player is in a specific area.